This video project is brought to you by Graphic Stock. What's good guys, my name is VK and welcome to another very exciting Phenomenal Creations video effects tutorial. Guess what, summer is soon here and that means we're getting a lot of beautiful skies and beautiful weather. Talking about skies, today we're gonna do some pretty cool sky replacement effects. So make your own skies a bit more fancier and fancy looking or basically do whatever you feel like. So let's jump in and look what I'm actually talking about. Hey guys, welcome to After Effects. Hope you are excited because now I'm gonna show you a detailed video how you can replace your own skies in your own video projects. So here you can see one of the example I showed just, just a second ago, but here's the raw clip and the sky is totally white. So it was a really cloudy day and I kept my aperture really wide open so I could like blow out the sky. And this will help me because then I can use, it's, ba it's acting basically like a big, big white screen for my stock video. And that will help a bit out with the key. But because I'm going to use the Luma keys and extract, which takes away the luminance of the whiteness, like keying out white, if you have a blue sky, you can also like use the key light effect to just like use the methods you know how to key out the green screen, but now you just do it for blue screen because you have a blue sky. Pretty simple. So like compositor wise, this effect is not the hardest one, but there's a few tricks and things to keep in mind when you're doing this effect which can improve um, the techniques of doing sky replacement so it's not so hard but i will show you now just like one way to do it because you know there's always a million ways to do every effect in the world and here's mine so let's go check it out <laughs> so the first thing to do is to track your footage because you need something which you're gonna replace the sky with to follow the camera's movement so I will not show you a, a like an in-depth um, tracking um, tutorial because I have done it a million times in the past and I kind of expect you know how to track your footage because it's super simple to do and it also makes this video a bit shorter. But basically use the tracker to track motion, um, to track the, like, track the motion in your video. So, and put that on a null object. So if you don't know how to track check a video down in the description i have a link to one of the videos where i go more in depth with the tracking or just check out some other tutorial on the youtube about tracking so i'll be back when i have tracked this footage so guys once i have put my track it's an old object which i just renamed track um, and you can see you get a bunch of keyframes because that's what computers do when they do work independently you can trust them so because you can trust them always you need to test them out so let's go ahead and create a text layer and type in just track and i'm just gonna pick whip it with this pick whip tool to parent the inf uh, information of the track layer to the text layer and see if it's holding up okay so it's pretty goodly tracked there so okay i trust in my computer this time so now when we have this track we need to start keying out the footage alloy the, the sky so let's go ahead and start keying it out there's a few ways to do it and i'm going to show you two of them one of them is a luma key so type in the effects and presets pan a luma key and just drag it onto your footage and then just uh, click key out brighter and then just bump up the threshold so you basically get everything you need and not the white so just take the white away like this so it looks like it's perfect. There's nothing to do, really. It looks pretty good, like magic. But you know, you can't trust the computer just like that. Because if I go ahead and take a new solid and put it below everything, now you can see it's not perfect. There's a lot of this white halloing effect around the characters. And the, at least at the branches where there's a lot of detail. So this doesn't look that good. So we need to clean it up. So, you know, there's a lot of ways you can like feather a bit of them. 
the edges here and make them a bit thinner, you know. There's a like, you can improve it, but you can take it away. So we need to use some other effects. Type in matte. And here's two, um, um, two effects I'm gonna use or show you. The Refine Soft Matte, it's very effective, but has one artifact that it creates to your video. I'm gonna show you now. So if you drag your Refine Soft Matte, you can see it's, it's doing a pretty okay job. It takes away the haloing and but it kind of like flattens out the image and the colors in the ends. But the worst case thing to hear is the thing that when you go ahead and click it on, uh, start to render the video, you can start seeing how it starts to like flicker uh, with the colors here. So look, it starts to flicker with the, like the colors and the keying, and that doesn't look that good. Of course, you can go for it and here click on and play with the ch um, like uh, the chatter reduction. But I tried it; it does an okay job, but it doesn't fix it. So let's go ahead and click on. Let's delete the refine soft matte. Here's another effect: matte choker. Click on it. It's a bit different. It just like soften up the edges, but it doesn't like soften up too much. So if you go ahead and like bump up the geometrical softness here. Take out the choke a bit, like this, and you can play out with the with the key a bit here. Like this. So Matt Joker is doing a pretty good job there. So now you can see just I have a really contrasted background, so that's why you can see a lot of this way high haloing. But when you're playing skies or sky elements, you won't see the difference that bad. And of course, you're smarter than me, and you don't film with in an environment with this kind of a lot of branches and with a lens that wasn't so sharp. It's a sharp lens I used, but it was not in focus, so that's why this I got the, a lot of these artifacts. So it just my footage is bad, not yours. Okay, so the next thing to do is to, we can go ahead and delete this background and we need to put some cool element right there. But before we do that, I want you to have a minute with me to talk about this video sponsors. Graphic Stock is the internet's largest royalty-free image library with over 300,000 plus professional photos, graphics and vectors. I can also try to find something like a laptop on a table and Graphic gives you all the images suiting your description you type down in the search bar, so it makes it really powerful to find any kind of image you want. What Graphicstock does to differ them from other websites is that the most websites charge you per image. And this can get up the cost really quickly, especially if one image costs 30 bucks. So Graphics Store gives you therefore unlimited downloads with their memberships. So click the link on the screen or in the description box to get yourself an exclusive 7 day trial where you can download up to 140 photos, graphics and vectors. And the best part is that they are royalty free so no copyright issues ever. And you can keep those images forever even if your membership ends. And if you like what you get, you can sign up for their annual plan, which is $99 and gives you unlimited access to these 300,000 plus images. So don't wait anymore. Upgrade your photo game with graphic stock. So let's continue with this effect. I will take my sky image from which I got from graphic stock. And it's so big and it's so cool when it's so large. That will do, I got a lot of space and a lot of resolution to play with. So I have it right here and I don't need the lawn or the, like the grass part of the field here. So let's go ahead and click a, um, a small mask here, just to like mask it off the field there. And yeah, let's complete the mask right there. So, okay, let's can fix it right there. That was a small, like this. And here's our sky, let's put the sky behind our footage, so basically it's behind our actor. And look at this, it already looks pretty good. But now because the images are so big, I can like scale it up 
and position where I want it to be. And then what I want to just do is go ahead and parent the sky image to the track like this. So basically when I now click on the video, it basically is fully tracked to my scene. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so now we have basically replaced a sky. So, you know, there's um, a lot of ways how you can put it like a sky behind something. You can use like luma mats, like for example, you have the sky image and you duplicate it and you put it on top of everything and put it to linear dodge, no linear burn. And basically everything that's white, you, you um, like, like this and then you do go to luma mats and everything and it would work but because I have a really non-contrastly uh, non-contrast video that's why luma mats doesn't work for me right here but there's like you know there's a few ways you can do this so here's it looks pretty cool and once you add some for example some optical flares I used that will cover up a bit of the haloing um, some color grading, some maybe, um, I don't know, particles flying in the air, and I don't know, you can put it wherever you want, but this is basically how you do a, a simple sky replacement. So guys, hope you guys like this tutorial and let's go on. And thanks for watching it, hope you guys learned something new. Thank you so much for watching this video project. Hope you guys liked it and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button just below this video. So like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it. Don't forget to comment anything you want regarding this video down below and tell me what you want because your feedback is my number one priority. So fill out anything you want in the description down below. And if you want to check it out me in the social media, I have all my social media stuff right over somewhere here. So go check them out, check me out, follow me, and do all those social media stuff. And if you want to see your suggestions being on this uh, channel, go suggest on a tutorial in the form, go fill it out, tell me what you want, send me an example, and I will analyze it, and if your suggestion will be a real episode. I will give you a shout out in the next coming episode. So fill out the form, links down below, annotations on screen, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Do it, click it, see all my videos which are coming all the time. So I think that was it. So my name is VK and over and out. Woo!